How's it going, everybody? My name's Eric, and welcome back to another episode of Every Brand Breakdown. It's a podcast-style screen share to teach everyone out there a little bit more about certain brands. Uh, we're gonna go over a little bit of the history, some of the active market, the MSRP, secondhand market, parent companies, posh market, the eBay market, a little bit about their warranty, and we're gonna go over some Chaco identification, hopefully some tips to help everyone out there make a little bit more money, squeeze more out of your eBay products, uh, or just to enjoy stuff that you got at a good price for yourself and for your own closet. I own Chacos myself. I did not pay retail for them and I enjoy the heck out of them. Uh, it's my daily sandal when it's not freezing cold outside. Uh, I highly recommend that you go down here to the gear. You can change the playback speed of this video at any time to kind of condense the knowledge because I know your time is very valuable and I do thank you for watching this video. Um, I have flipped Chacos a lot in the past. Uh, you could see from 2013, there's a nice Chaco logo. These are a pair of Z1s that I found, and that is some pretty cringy hair and pearl snap button down. But that's a pair of Chacos for the history books for everybody. Chaco, you can go to chaco.com. And interestingly enough, it brings you to Chacos with an S.com. So they own the domain Chaco and it pushes you to Chacos, even though it's called Chaco. They got that name from Chaco Culture Natural Historical Park, Chaco Canyon, the Chacoan people. They were like a Pueblo people of New Mexico. I've actually been to Chaco Canyon, it's pretty cool. But they used to be called Gecko before they changed the name to Chaco in the early 90s. The first pair of Chacos or Geckos, it was invented in 1989 by Mark Pigan in Colorado and he was looking for some sort of footwear that wouldn't, his feet wouldn't get wrinkled up after fly fishing and whitewater rafting. So the aquatic amphibious shoe uh, sandal of Chaco was born. He custom made the uh, shape by measuring people's foot with a pencil or a pen. He consulted with podiatrists and doctors to figure out the design and made the Chaco. It does have a cult following with the outdoors people. They love their Chacos. Um, the most popular are their sandals and they've recently gotten into like highly customizable sandals. There's a picture with a bunch of different styles. They are no longer a privately held company. They were bought in 2009 by Wolverine Worldwide, which is the same company that owns Harley Davidson, Hush Puppies, Keds, Merrill, Saucony, Sperry, Wolverine. Who would have thought Wolverine Company owns Wolverine? And they are a publicly traded company and their ticker symbol is WWW. Makes sense. They own Chaco. They, it's going up. People love their Chaco. PE ratio of 16 and dividend of 1.35%. And here's a look at their Instagram, 370,000 followers, very professional. Um, and they, they have engaged with me. I've tagged them before and they have responded with hearts and comments. So that's pretty cool for them to be able to have somebody that's engaging with them. Can't say enough good things about Chaco. So we're gonna go back to their site and kind of browse a little bit. I'll show you guys their most popular things are their sandals. The Z1s, Z Cloud, Z1, Z1 Classic. Um, they have these white ones right here. It's customizable. So you're picking all the different colors. That's why it's just a white blank. And the customizable ones are $130. And the other ones are a lot cheaper than that. 105 this one's on sale for 67, it's a little bit different. They've experimented a little bit with different styles, different designs, especially since outsourcing to China. They outsourced to China a little bit after a little bit after they got bought in 2009. So nothing is um so most of their stuff is manufactured in China except for when you go to their custom line and this is where you pick style, you pick the colors and then the buckle colors and the different strap colors and you can design the Chacos that they put together in the USA up in Michigan. They make them out of rock for Michigan. So you Michigan people are probably finding a lot of Chacos, I'm sure. This screen right here is great for Chaco identification. The Z1 is a single strap sandal. Z2 has the toe loop single strap. ZX1 has the 
double strap just over the top of the foot. ZX2 has the double strap with the toe and then the flip-flop. This is actually what I rock um, if I'm not hiking or anything. It's just the flip-flop. It's my daily driver and I love it. But you're gonna wanna use these identifiers in your listing if you find it because you're gonna want people that are looking for that specific sandal to find it, right? They're Someone might be looking for a Z1, Z2, or whatever. And if you don't identify it right, you're not going to necessarily get the most money that you could get. So they have a really good design of their sandal. It's really simple. The foot, the foot beds are very durable. They have a pretty high arch and supportive sole. It's just very simple. I think there's only seven or eight components to a shoe. And this strap is a one piece strap. If uh, this strap right here, if you could see, it's a one piece strap that kind of like goes under, weaves under the footbed on the top. And then when you adjust it to your, uh, to your size, you kind of pull it through. And that'll maybe make sense a little bit later in the video. They are an REI brand. So if you type in Chaco, sandals will come up. So they do sell them at REI, which is a good thing, makes them more available throughout the country. Let's go to check a flip and see what the used Chaco looks like. Um, 32.81 with 30% sell through. I do not believe this sell through rate right here. Chacos sell pretty dang well. So let's go to eBay, type in Chaco. We're gonna go to used and there's 5.6 thousand used pairs online right now. As you can see here, they do have the model and that's something you're going to want to identify when you find the shoe. And that's really, it's really easy from this My Chaco link. I will actually put this link in the description for easy access for all y'all. So we're going to look at completed first. So 7.3 thousand completed and then we're gonna look at sold. And 5.5, almost 5.6 sold. That's just about a 77% sell through rate. So I don't know why check a flip is very inaccurate, but so the highest priced shoe that's sold used on eBay is a shin boot. It's a high boot from Chaco 125. The Grateful Dead Bears, so that's getting into a little bit of subject matter. There's a boot, there's a pair of Chacos, pair of Chacos for pair of Chacos. 78, 85, some rainbow ones for 84 used, those for 70, 72, 79. But the high end you're looking at is 70-ish, more than likely in good condition. And the lowest we're looking at is children's bids, 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 bids. You don't always want to do bids. I'm not a fan of bids on certain items, and this would not be one. we we'll do buy it. We're going to search by buy it now. So zero, I don't get this, zero dollars, zero dollars. Somebody must have made a mistake because a lot of these are zero dollars, zero dollars. What is somebody just blowing out all? Is this an eBay glitch? Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, that makes no sense. It's at zero dollars and I click on it, it says one bid 50. Zero dollars, two bids. And I searched by buy it now only. So we might have just found an eBay glitch. It's not giving us a really good look at the low end of the market. So this is a damaged one they sold for $10, which we'll get later into damaged stuff. But I would recommend if you found a, one of their strapped sandals to sell it between $40 and $70. Don't undercut yourself. Let's take a look at Poshmark. Uh, we're on Chaco's here. Let's see, 50 bucks, 40 bucks, 30 bucks sandals with a box, 85, 95. These are new. Hold their value fairly well. We're gonna go to sold. There, what do you know? 70, 70, 30, 18, maybe underpriced. Somebody desperate to sell them or some damages. Took an offer, maybe wanted to get rid of them. I don't know. Has someone got a good deal? $18. 20, 30, 22, another good deal. 25, some boots, sandals. The sandals are what you're gonna see the most, but they do make shoes and boots. 
I haven't had as good of luck with the shoes and boots. Well, with the shoes as much as the sandals. I don't think I've ever really found a pair of the boots. Next, we're gonna take a look at some sandals in person to show you guys a couple things about it. Okay, now comes the part of the video where I show you the actual products. I have some Chacos here in front of me, uh, some for repair, replacement, some for sale, some are my personal Chacos, and some I just picked up in order to show you guys some uh, style codes. First off, we have these. They're a Z2 because they have the toe loop right there. And if we look to the back here, it's a men's size 12. And then there's two dots on the outside, meaning that it is normal width because they do make a wide one. If it were to have dashes, it would be wide width. If it had a W, it would be women's, but these you can tell pretty easily that they are men's. Uh, this is a men's Z2 sandal and it has the Vibram sole. This is their classic Vibram sole that the classic Chacos have used. Upon further inspection, we look at the buckle, it says Chaco on it. And then this is the left sandal. There's a tag in there that says assembled in Colorado, USA. So this is a pre 2007 Chaco. And some of the hardcore Chaco people might want this because of the sole. Uh, there is a little bit of wear right there on the heel. Not that big of a deal. The actual sole is still in really good shape. But the thing about these is you can see there's a little bit of tearing right there. And then if I look at the right one, there is a lot of tearing right there. So I don't wanna sell them like this. I'm actually going to send these into Chaco and they will repair or replace them for free, which is really awesome because that will get these recycled or back to usable, sellable condition. That's the plan with these. Take a look at these guys right here. This is either a Z1 or a Z2. And if you said Z1 or you thought Z1, you are correct. Single strap over the top. Um, look at the back. So an M11 dot dot men's normal size width, size 11. The classic Vibram sole. Um, actually really, really low amount of use and wear on the heel. And the sole is actually in really, really good shape. These are very, very clean. Uh, we're looking for uh, where it was made in there. Don't see it, but we take a look at the buckle and zoom in on that tag. And these are made in China. And then there you can see the US size 11. We can identify these as, we would sell these as a Z1 good condition Chaco and then made in China in the description or if anybody asks so they know. There's not really that much of a quality difference between the made in China and the made in the USA ones. You might even say the made in China one is better because it's got a thicker strap and the the like the heel straps are not broken on this one. Those should sell between 40 and 60 bucks. Uh, we're gonna look at my personal sandals. These are my thongs. Still got a pretty nice, nice high arch. Uh, these are a newer made in China Chaco. On the, but for the size of these guys, you don't really have anything to go by. So we flip them over and you get, an, if you can see down here, there is an M10 with the dots. So it's men's 10 normal width thong sandals. So I'm just going to wear the heck out of these. I've worn them so much. They have the newer Chaco sole that some people don't like, but hey, they've done me well and I've worn them a lot. All right, we got one more pair. These are my personal, they also call these Uniweeps because it's all one strap that goes underneath it. And you might have to do some minor adjusting if you find a pair because I have found pairs where this toe loop lies flat or this strap lies flat. And all you have to do is grab them and kind of twist and rotate. And then it pulls, if you can see that, that's flat now because I'm basically pulling some of the strap through the bottom of the footbed and then through there. So you kind of just have to play with it in order to uh, kind of 
pull it all out. But the reason the reason why they the, they design it is like that is because you put your foot in when it's looser, and then you can tighten it around your foot, and it kind of like self adjusts because it's all friction based uniweep of a strap. So do not be afraid if you find a pair that has the toe loop. You can always kind of adjust it like that and get that toe loop going back. Um, but these are a Z2 because it's got the toe loop, a newer Chaco sole. And if we look around, we should find some sort. Oh, this one's on the right shoe for whatever reason. But we have we have our made in China tag, it's US size 10. And if you Google that number right there, J105425 in parentheses with the word Chaco, that is another way to get your style code. They are going back in the closet, but they would sell for between 40 and 60 as well, especially in this good of shape. Not that much wear. And still on the bottom says men's 10 with the dots. Got a little bit more of the Chaco branding on the side. The older ones do not have the Chaco branding on the side. And then the older ones also do not have the Chaco branding on the side. Last but not least, some kiddos. I actually picked these up just for this video, that Chaco tag. So we're going to Google that J1802859 number right there. And that is going to help us identify the shoe. Um, Chaco sole, it's a newer piece. And you're always just gonna wanna look at overall condition. Stains, rips, delamination, soles. Um, pretty good, but these will probably, since they're kids, I think they retailed for maybe 60 bucks and they will sell between 20 and maybe 40 because they are in really, really good condition. Now that we've gone over a little bit of Chaco in hand, we're gonna go back to the computer and take a look at the warranty, where I'm gonna go in order to make this warranty claim right here. They have an all free of defects for the entire life of the products. They stand behind it, they evaluate it, they do a warranty, doesn't say anything about the first owner. It just says that they will repair it, they evaluate it do a re repair right here. Get started and you fill this out, you fill this out and then in this comment right here you would say, if you were, if you for instance had a pair with like the ripping strap, you would say straps are ripping, I am sending the, I am sending these in to see if they qualify, qualify for the warranty. Thank you. And then for the warranty repair, thank you. And I have sent in a couple pairs to Chaco and they have repaired them. They are very good about it. If they cannot repair it, they will recycle them. They are about getting their products back into consumer use or recycling them. So that's one really good thing about Chaco is you have a really, really good customer support warranty repair facility built into that product as well. Um, and from my experience, they will fix strap issues. If the sole's just worn down, that's normal wear and tear, but if maybe if the sole is splitting or more than likely it's gonna be like a strap is ripping. Straps really shouldn't be ripping. That's kind of, uh, that, I think that's everything. Every one I've sent in is a strap ripping issue and they've repaired or replaced it every single time. It's just pretty, really, really awesome of Chaco to do that. I will put a link to this in the description as well if you ever have to make a Chaco warranty claim so you can easily find it. And uh, I highly recommend these sandals for use, for resale, whatever. They're really quality 
and can't say it, like I said, can't say enough good things about Chaco. I've had great experience with their customer service, worn their products for many years, and just absolutely love them. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to smash the like button. It's the best way to support this channel. If you have any questions about Chaco or about any other brands you would like breaking, broken down, the best place to connect with me is in the comment section or reach out to me on Instagram. Thanks again for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.